In this part, we want to check if this plan is currently subscribed by the user. If this plan is subscribed by the user, then we will disable this button to prevent the user click subscribe again. So to compare this, we have to add the Firebase row to our products. So we go to the products and then we click on, for example, we click on the plan four. And then we go to edit meditator. And then we choose, we type Firebase row. And then we type plan four. So at last we will check if the row of the user is the same or include the names of the products. If yes, we will know that he always subscribe this plan and we will disable that button. So now we click on save and we type the password of the Stripe. Now if we go back to the Firestore and now we can see there is a row plan 4. So we do the same for plan 1 to plan 3. Now you can see there is also a row that it did not exist before. We find that even if we click on the subscribe, there is no effect and there is no checkout page appear. And this is because we forgot to add the S here. And we should also use price rather than price ID. So if we go to click on subscribe again, now you can see it already triggered the checkout page. And we can use the fake credit card by using 42424242424242 and also we type some dumpy data and then we click subscribe now it already success because we have done many tryouts so I think it would be better to dis delete the collections we do the subscribe again and then we type 42424242 and then 42424244 and then CK Mobile and then we choose an area and then we click subscribe. Now if we back to the Firestore, we can see the checkout sessions and also the subscriptions. And under the subscription, we can see there is a row of plan free. So now we are going to compare this row and also the name of the products. So if they are the same or include this word, that means the user already subscribed the plan. Now we back to check whether the specific plan is subscribed. So we have to add the state to track on this. So we create constant subscription and then set subscription and then equal to use state and we set the initial value is null. So now we create another use effect to fetch the collections of subscriptions. So we use use effect and then we are going to get these subscription collections. So this is very similar to this one. So we use db.customer and dot user.uid, but this time we are not going to get the checkout sessions. We are going to get the collections of subscriptions dot get dot then and then snapshot. And then like this one, we are going to use snapshot dot for each. So we use snapshot dot for each and then subscription. And then we console.log to see what inside the subscriptions. Now we can see the subscriptions here. And we can try to put the data. And we can put dot data after the subscription to see what inside the snapshot. So now if you go to the subscription, you can get the row and which is the same as this list of data. So now we are going to set the subscription state. So we use set subscription and then we have the row and then subscription.data.row. And then we also want to get the current start and also the current end. So we put the subscription.data.current period start and then we duplicate this one and we change this to subscription period, current period end, and also this go to current period end. Now we can go to inside the math function, we can create constant is current pan is equal the product data if there's a name and also if there is to lowercase dot includes subscription dot 
row. So now we are going to add the disabled attribute inside this button. So it will disable if this is current plan. So now if you back to the website, you can see plan three buttons is disabled because we already subscribed this plan.